Today we're going to review part number 2788. This is the red line trailer wheel bearing. This is the inner bearing. These replacement bearings are a high quality tapered roller bearing designed for high speed use. All the bearings have industry standard numbers regardless of the brand. On this one basically if you look at the inner ring etched on there is the number 2788H. 2788. That's the part number for this bearing. Now on the bearing you would need is if you would just get that part number off the inner ring and it depending on the brand of your bearing it could be a different part number. If you'll just give us that part number we'll be able to cross reference it to get you the correct bearing you would need. Now if you do not have the part number off the bearing the only other way to get the correct one is to get the measure the inside diameter of this inner ring right here on the bearing and to do that you would need to get use a digital caliper because it would read in thousands of an inch which that measurement would be so a regular ruler or tape measure would not give you the correct measurement so in this case if we measure the inner diameter of this bearing be 1.5 inches <clears throat> Now this bearing does consist of three pieces. The inner ring, which is this part right here that slides over the spindle of your axle. The actual rollers themselves. And then the cage or the roller retainer that holds the rollers in place. Now the lubrication on the bearings is mainly from wheel bearing grease some bearings will use a oil also. Now there is one other piece that is required with the bearing and that is the bearing race. Now that is sold separately but the bearing race would be the part that would install into the hub that would allow the bearing to ride sit into and the bearings would ride on that race. The race you would need for this which is sold separately would be part number 2729 and the important measurement on the race would be the outside diameter and for the race of for this one the outside diameter would be three inches even and that should do it for review of part number 2788